you can come after in that order. So I once Ted's finished, I'll tell you next. Okay. Good. All right. You're up. Okay. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about what you're going to do. Tell us who yes. you are, where you're from, and what you're going to do. Hi everybody. My name is Ted Huntington. I work in the uh, Ayala Science Library. And uh, this is a song I wrote, it's an original song I call Where's Our Video? And uh, it has to do with this idea that someday, very soon, we all may be able to get direct to brain windows, that is, direct to neuron videos. But we just see windows right in front of our eyes, directly to our brain. And uh, it's interesting, it sounds kind of crazy, but it's interesting when you know about the history of science, that I should explain actually that neurons are the cells in every uh, nervous system, they're nerve cells basically, and they are like transistors and being electrical switches. They turn on or off, basically. So, um, and it sounds crazy, but it's really interesting to those who don't know about the history of science. And we've done such a poor job at educating the people about the history of science, but just let me say that, to know that researchers in Japan have already figured out how to uh, capture an image of what the eyes see from behind the head without anything attached to it, just using something as simple as magnetic resonance imaging, MRI and also to distinguish between uh, the syllables of thought audio, which is just amazing. And the history of um, neuron writing actually goes back a long ways to 1650, in fact. A guy named uh, Jan Swammerdam published a first report saying that electricity can make a frog leg muscle contract. That's a form of activating those switches directly using electricity. So you can imagine the medical and the health science benefits of such a technology. If this, uh, as you can see, like imagining that these devices become reduced to the nano scale, nanometer scale. Already here at um, Irvine, for example, um, people have shown that tiny nanometer devices can be used to tr transmit and receive uh, wireless uh, radio. So you can see potentially that um, this could be a really a wonderful health science um, benefit to help, for example, blind people to be able to see by writing, sending an image directly to their neurons by bypassing any damage in their eyes and optic nerve and so on. And then also, just let me just finish that, um, also just to, to write directly to a person, deaf person's ear, you know, bypassing their, their ear damage. So, in, and also just to be able to like jog outside and be able to watch a movie in your eyes. So it's just a hope, and I have a lot of faith in, in the human brain that we're good at figuring stuff out so that we can do this and bring this, to the, this technology to the public. So without another century of delay, let me uh, give you my song, Where's Our Video?